everyone welcome back to another video today we at the Lake District and we at Keswick behind the trees here the lake is just beyond there so keep watching for the unbelievably amazingly good views today we are walking up Cath Bells and as you can see where we've parked up here there's a little layer by just along this very narrow road. It's like a little back road. Just got parked. This is the beginning of the trail here. There's many different parts of the trail where you can start. But this is the one where we are. And we're going to be going up here. <coughs> and then we veer off to the right. But this is the start. I've never done this one before. So it's another one to tick off the list. There we go, you see, immediately you can see the lake. Unbelievable views, it's unreal. And it's such a nice day. Let's go. So we're coming from the road there, literally about 40 meters straight away you can see all this. We're going to veer off to the right and this is going to take us up. From what I've looked at the walk, it's only about 1.5 mile to get up. The plan was we we're going to get up Cat Bells and then follow the paths to get back down into Keswick, but we're not today. We're just, we're just up and down and then we're going to drive back into Keswick to have a look around later on. But I'm dead excited for this. Looking forward to it. It's such a lovely day. I'm so lucky to have a day like this. And I've, I've uh, brought some food with us. And my mum's parked the car down the road. She's drove today. And she's going to have a walk around herself. She likes taking the photographs and everything. So that's her plan for this lovely morning. Right, this is it. Left hand turn. This is the start of the slog to get up. There's a few people walking up there already. I think the idea is what I'm going to do is go up, come down another way, just so I've got a bit of a different kind of, you know, view, path going on. Just so it's different. So I'm going to go up, along, come down the other side, and then come back along this track here to get back down to the car. But I do recommend if you are going to park down here, you do set off dead early because it's really limited parking down there, like not much park at all. And you can you can see the cars are trying to squeeze in. So narrow. And then you've got buses coming around as well. This is the first mountain of 2022, funny enough. God knows how, but it is. We're finally out. And it's got us wondering how am I going to cope with this because I, I haven't been up a mountain in about six months. And to be honest, I got weighed the other day at work and I put a stone on in the past six months. So I'm, oh, I'm a little bit, not worried because I know I'll be able to do it, but uh, I think I'm going to be out of breath, shall I say. Right, let's go up this steep hill. We'll see you at the top. About halfway up now. Got this little bit to go. Our first bit was a proper slog. Sometimes you don't realise how unfit you are until you do something like this. A few years back, I would have been straight up there without no chew. And certainly not out of breath like I am now. not that far you know just that slog but it does take a long time to get up and I've got a feeling it's gonna take a little bit longer nearly there it's really busy there's people coming from all directions to come up kids loads of kids which is really nice to see this is you going back there you know, it looks about seven eight year old He's bossing it. Walking in front of his parents. 
We off. Do this. It's not took that long. Just a little bit. But I'm quite tired. As I said, I'm not used to, but look at this, guys. Look at this view. Unreal. I haven't been to the lakes in ages. I've missed it. It's class. I think the plan is now, because we've parked further on from the mountains, we're going to be walking past Catbells on down go that way. I was planning of just going back down towards Keswick that way but my mother's down the bottom so she's taking photographs down there so that's where I'm going. Yeah, need some more views from the top. What some people do is, as you can see in the middle there, I don't know if you can just see that, there's a ferry. So people park in Keswick and then they'll get the ferry across, do cap bells, and then just come back down and go back across. With the being so limited parking at the bottom, it's probably an easier way and you get the experience of going on a ferry across the lake. So I can't blame people for doing that. Well, it's that time, dinner time, got our sandwiches on the go. So today I've got some tuna and sweet corn sarnie, and I've got a egg mayonnaise sarnie. Now I've moved away from the top because. It was just too loud. People do me in a little bit. So I've come further down the mountain. And that's my view. It's a little bit windy, but it's lovely. It's kind of cooling us down a little bit. It's nice. It's drying off my sweat patch. It's packed up there, like. There's loads of people up to there. It have been nice. So five minutes and then I'm going to go back down. I think if I was by myself, like I said, my mum's part at the bottom, I probably would have just walked back to Keswick by myself because it looks nice. And, uh, it's, it's just downhill really, it's downhill and it's flat back to Keswick from here. Not too bad. And I enjoy this. Enjoy the view. Take it all in. And then go back down. Well, we're on our way back down now. We've been up, we've had our dinner. Heading back down. It is nice to see loads of people at the top. I've been talking to a couple there, they were asking me as well. I've got a selfie stick and microphone and that. And I told them what I was doing. Loved it. Nice to meet new people. Can't believe how many people there is. I have a tip for you guys when you're out. Although it might seem cloudy-ish, remember to wear suntan lotion. It's getting to that time of year where if you're getting up these mountains and that, you're gonna start sweating. Easily burn. There's been many times I've been out and cloudy as but when you get the top and you get back down on the night time, you're red raw, it's unreal. So just be careful on that. I, I once read an article actually of this fella that um, he never wore some tan lotion going out and he ended up, his nose actually had to get amputated kind of, it got taken off his face because it was, it went cancerous because of the, the sun. Got that burned over the amount of years he was out. So you've got to be careful. I've got Factor 50 today. I've always got Factor 50 in the bag just in case. Because you know that's going to last all day then. So you come down from Cap Bells 
really easy coming down, nice path. You get to the pile of stones, which is also called Cairns. If you continued on, you would get to a place called High Spy, class name. We are going left back down to, to um, well, we're going to go back down to where the car is and head towards Keswick. It's unbelievably clear path down, can't get lost. It's nice. Well, I definitely come up the wrong way earlier because that was just a sheer drop. This way I'm coming back down is loads easier. It's just, it's just a slight incline, really. But back there, it's just like that. So if you're coming here, I would advise you go further along around the sides because it's just less steep, much easier. We're nearly at the bottom now, and I'll tell you what, when you haven't been up a mountain that long, you forget how much strain it is on your body. Your left ankle feels like it's hurting. You get my knees coming down, and killing. But I've always had that in my knees, coming, coming down the mountain. It always really hurts. We're here now, look. This is the bottom here. We've done it, up and down. But I've been, I've been told a bit of a tip. So keep watching the video because we're going to go to the lake and apparently there's something special down there. So we're going to go and have a, have a look and check it out. We've come down now from Cap Bells. We're down from the mountain itself. We've crossed over that road, that really narrow road. And I've come a long way around because I wanted to just have a walk through this forest here. And it's... It's nice to realise that uh, this is a public foot path, there's a sign back there. Uh, there's also a sign here. A little tiny sign, look at that. Tiny. Let's move you around here. A bit of a slog coming down again. Yeah. Uh, really busy, so it's not like you can just go down at your own pace. You've got to wait for the people in front of you, which is just fair enough. Right, as I promised, here's the surprise. Now look at this. It's called Brandle Haw, Brandle How Shed, and it's got loads of postcards on look. And um, possible chance I'll tell you in the window, originated from here. How cool is that? Look at all the stuff that people have sent in. Or Teddy in the window. So look, here's the address. Send one in. Look at this. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at the water. You bring the kids down and go for a plodge. It's like a little cove. Beautiful. And this goes right round as well. Absolutely fantastic. There's my mother at the top. Yeah, this is it. Well, we're going to go and head back to Keswick now. We're going to get around the shops and have a look. I hope you've liked the video. I know it's a bit short, but the cat bells is pretty short to be fair. It's, it's not the longest of walks. Here we are, look up there. Hi. Well, if you like the videos, remember to subscribe here. Watch some more videos at the side. And I'll see you later on. Ta-ra!